a cool skin. I guarantee you're gonna try and do stuff to me, right? I mean, all right, I won that trade purely and only because I've got a shield. Oh, I still won. Actually, that afraid of Nocturne because he doesn't really do much. Ooh, good dodge. I'm not gonna get a minion, fuck. No, I've played this strategy myself, uh, Malphite mids. And I've never seen it played with Electroq. I've always seen it, I've always personally played it with Arcane Comet. It's a very interesting choice from him. I'm gonna recall and grab boots here. He's probably gonna freeze it. Yeah, of course he is. He's freezing on me. I'm gonna need help. Yeah. That's actually pretty interesting. Cause I didn't use TP, right? But I still have the opportunity to TP back. Playing the short term game, man. That ain't my strategy. I know you start flash. I'm not gonna. I am actually gonna kill you. All right. Ooh, very close there. One more auto and he would have died. He did use Ignite. Fairly confident this is non... Copyright sound, right? It's it says it. I'm gonna believe it, you know. Presumably to roam here. That 
that's very unfortunate. But very good timing for me though. Because that actually cancelled out my ultimate. I pressed my ultimate there, so I would have lost a very useful ability. Just for some bullshit. If that actually went off. But I can now gank bot lane with that. So let's go do that. Hopefully not walking on a ward here. I got you. I got you, Smulda. Don't you even worry, bro. I'm actually just gonna go straight for Hollow Radiance here. I don't see a point in not doing that. going okay. he doesn't he doesn't want the smoke man he doesn't want the nautilus he doesn't want the narusi don't fucking yeah thank you on the way let's gain bot lane again because it's fun Stretch. Oh, they got. Oh, they got a war down. They learned. That's fine. I can just remove the ward, and then gank again. In the mouth. How was that supposed to limit me there? And I'm also gonna go back right, right back to lane to catch this wave. Not actually as valuable to freeze here. I got a cannon, let's go. I was really fucking scared there for a second. I thought my Viego was an enemy. It's a little bit creepy. That's fun. Hmm. I think letting. Hmm. It's annoying that he's going AP on another end, I kind of prefer it. I know that sounds weird, but hear me out. Him going AP means he's not going to be tanky enough. The glory of, about my pick is I become tanky, but I still hurt because of Nautilus's base scale. That's the whole point of this. That's the entire, like, reason why this works as well as it does. And also because tanks are really just broken. They, they're they always going to be and they've always been. I, I, I strongly doubt Riot is ever going to do anything to scale back tanks. They, they'd have to remove Grasp, right? Because Grasp is the one rune making tanks just completely busted. Because it, le it legitimately means the more health you have, the more damage you do. Which, hey, it sounds like a tank, doesn't it? Yeah, I'm gonna need to burn again bot lane here. Hmm. I don't do enough damage to kill there. That's unfortunate. They think they are gonna kill me. I'm just gonna shove this in. 
Hopefully my team has, you know, a decent amount of brain cells and realizes that Malphite is just going to firm around them. Are you serious? Oh, you actually killed me. Good job. Yeah, didn't expect that. <clears throat> Kill them in the yes, let's go. Knock no all no sums. Nice, let's go, Viego. Oh, seven bot lane, twelve minutes in. It sounds like low elo. So it means my item, probably for us a dragon. Uh, I'm gonna need some armor. I I will just need some armor down the line. I can't go without it. Got two MR items with my boots and my first item being an MR item. So let's go. Ah, you're doing that build. I see you. I've done your build before. It's fairly interesting. Kind of unfortunate that you happen to be there. Come on. I mean, I wasn't really planning to chase that lad. No. Kind of just chilling. Committed to the room. Let me just keep you away. We can keep fighting this. Never mind, they proceed away. Let's just perma gang this pop. That's smaller scale. If they don't do the bot lane rage quit before. I'm gonna stop this real quick. You should be fine, right? Right. Totally. Yeah. And well, you don't really do too much damage to me anymore. Along with your AP mates. Which is deeply unfortunate for you. Interesting. 
Looks positioning a little bit sus. Not gonna lie. Yeah, no. I'm just afraid of the uh, Malphite. Like, Malphite doesn't do much damage to me, but... They don't need to kill me, they need to kill my team. Yeah, this kid is going for you, okay. Poor dude doesn't understand that he's not gonna do much. I'm just gonna be out damaging him and out shoving him. It's a harsh reality. Oh fucking plate Morgana. I like this Morgana. He has bulls. Very glad I didn't fucking stay around. Because I was almost tempted to go in for a hook there. Because I thought my Morgana was still with me. But no, I didn't. I didn't make the mistake. So we're good. Let's go Thornmill. I don't feel the need to go too much heavy into MR yet. Maybe if they start building pen need to go with some MR, but if not, then I don't need to. I'm gonna go Thornmail. Ah, oh, come on. Come on, man. Uh, maybe I'll go on ending, though. Go Thornmail before an ending. An ending fourth item. An ending fourth item actually doesn't sound too bad here. I'm gonna show myself here. fine. I'm completely fine with that outcome. It's a one for one. Support for support. Oh, we could potentially catch the ADC here. Okay. Vision. It's warded. He, he went away so fucking fast. If that's not warded, he's cheating. So it's either warded, or he has some kind of uh, minimum pack if it exists. Lux is now mid. Malphite is just roaming, I guess. I can keep my ultimate. I'm gonna put another cheeky little ward down. Maybe actually catch the Twitch this time? The Drake is up in 20. Oh god. It's not near us. Yeah, it's falling. Doing that, yeah. Nice, I shoved this. Go Drake here. Shoving this, going back. Okay. 
So we've got a Twitch. And a Lux up there. Doesn't really matter. Oh. On the way. I guess so. I guess all ultimates must be for you. They don't like you. He was that regardless. There's no point in us trying to move up there. Uh, let's go build an ending now. At the anti healing portion, we're gonna finish the sword build after the unending, I reckon. is doing the typical oh. <clears throat> I've got Lux and Twitch permanently mid now the jungler trying to scope me out, get wards down and stuff. Need help on defending mid here. Thing is, I don't want them to get free fucking push, but I can't really protect against a two v one. Not until I have my unending. I have my own ending, I can. Yes. Sure. Okay. I mean, you're still going to die. Trust my team winning that without me. Oh, of course not. One way. Yeah. It's very predictable that would happen. Very, very predictable that would happen. It's like, holy shit, man. You're somehow gonna lose to the Nocturne. Honestly, just let the smaller scale. And we we're, we're gonna be in a great spot once he gets strong. The issue is, we need him to get strong. We also need more wards down because we legitimately have like no vision. We are not a gold lobby right now. We are an iron lobby. I'm walk this way. He's just gonna ult, you know. Okay. Yeah, I guess he's gonna do that and be a cringe lord. I'm 
from that. There we go. Build two. And just keep the shrink. That's box. I'll take meds. Respond, please, grandmas. Thank you. He's gonna try and ult me. Wow, bro. You are cringe. I need a little bit of gold here. There we go, got an ending. There we go. Now we just finish this into our thorn mill. And we are full build. And now we just 5v5. Now just 5v5, that's all. So Baron is up in three. Smolder needs to farm. I'm just gonna stay with my team now. Try to constantly look for fix. Fix on their damage dealers, by the way. Warded. Come on. That should have hit. That's bullshit. I reckon probably also a trucks. Good. That's a problem. There's nobody focusing the Twitch. It is. No one gets on the Twitch. I guess that's gold elo for you. My mans. I did literally everything. Y'all need to stick on the targets I focus. And then we win. Y'all are so close minded. Just in games that are winnable. Okay, Gen Z. <clears throat> kind of cringe, man. Kind of cringe. Good job, Diego. You're gonna die though. 100%, right? If it's just gonna be here somewhere, magically kill all of you. That's some bullshit, bro. I'm gonna hold you. Go fuck yourself. Uh, we can't. I mean, 
you know, I have been really genuinely thinking, perhaps I should play just EP Nautilus, you know, you know, because nobody seems to actually, you know, want to play with the team. Which is well and truly unfortunate. Because tank Nautilus mid does work. You need a team though. But maybe I'm gonna go AP next. Hmm. Oh man. Fuck off. I don't care. Fuck off your weird ad. Uh, probably we'll lose this game. Uh, 2 10 Smolder. 3 9 Morgana. Uh, Morgana's dead once again. Morgan Smolder are just in Tingle. Report them and go next. <clears throat> it's kind of silly, but it's whatever. I'll need Thornmail here. It's a definite requisite. I love how you're just gonna keep wasting your time with the Mundo, and that's what they want. The smolder, do 11. Yeah, I'm, I think I'm actually gonna need to go AP here. Like, not here in this game, but like starting next game. Because people can't do anything here. They can't work with somebody setting up kills like me here. I guess I'll go AP. AP uh, Nautilus is a little different. You're basically going for a fighting playstyle. Somebody kill him. I literally tanked everything just then. I can't do more, lads. Oh well. That's gonna happen from time to time. It's cringe, but it is gonna happen. That's the nature of League of Legends, I'm afraid. It is truly whatever. You know, I I honestly don't care. Oh, King Jesus. Sorry. Some burps. Burps on my face. Guess I can't go thank not in this elo. People can't make plays off my engages. That's fine. I mean, all I can do to really prevent that is just switch my runes about a bit. So you're not always going to have enough time to proc a PTA. So I reckon what we're probably going to do, we're still going to hook people. We still want to be initially tanky. Um... Bonus resists or the skills with oh the skills with your resists. Eight percent of bonus health. Three percent currently increase your health. Maybe aftershock. Maybe aftershock would be better here. I know shield bash is is fucking golden on Nautilus. How long is the cooldown of Aftershock? That's the real question here, then. 
Hold on, just 20 seconds. I can lower that with this by... I think roughly maybe 8 to 9 seconds, if not more. I'm not always going to be auto-attacking. This goes with my AP. After immobilizing... The enemy champion increase here by 35 to 80%. Explode. It does a lot of damage. A lot of base damage. Might just have to try it, to be honest. But the main way I've been doing um, AP Nautilus, it's basically your E will be almost, will have no cooldown, so you're really going to be heavy on burning. Since you're going to need mobility, you rush phase rush. So, you're, the whole deal is you're going to hook, you're going to auto E, and then run away. And then you're just going to keep doing that. Until they're low, and then you kill them, right? Let's go do that. Um, let's just take... We're going to need Nimbus Cloak, because we are a slow as fuck motherfucker. We're going to need movement speed. We're going to need early damage. We skill good into the late anyways. We have Ingenious Hunter. Uh, actually, wait a minute. Wait, no. This is much more valuable, actually, now I think of it. Because I'm gonna bank on doing lots of damage, right? Didn't I just go full burst with electric boots or some shit? Because that would mean I wouldn't have an, a, like, a way to get out of the fight. Yeah, let's try this. Let's try this out. So the item will probably rush is the um, mythic, the, the thing that was a mythic before, right as crystal. Uh, the stacking one. And off that, we're just going to build other AP items. Let's try that out. Because, I mean, we do use abilities a lot, and I believe that item also gives us some cooldown reduction. So it, 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 could be, it could be a funny... It could be a good investment for an item. It could be. I'm not saying it's going to be. I'm just saying it could be. I've got no clue. All depends, doesn't it? The solo kill is pretty nice. That ain't my strategy. I know you start flash. I'm not gonna... Here he was an idiot and just walked back in. So it's auto W. I am actually gonna kill you. All right. So the main problem with this strategy is if I get fed, right? I'm gonna be investing my uh, hard on money into tank items, not damage. But I will do damage. But I'll do damage in short and long, or not short, long, long extended fights because of my sustain with an ending, my damage, my heals, my shields, and my constant slowing and hooking them back in. So the whole point of this is to, at least at tank wear, is to play it like I am, um, in a certain way, I guess you could argue that I'm trying to play against the typical norm of how people typically play this champion. We're actually going to try this room page out, because this actually looks really strong. Let's go do that. Instead of that, we're gonna take Ingenious. We are actually gonna copy this build because I am very, very curious. It sounds really fun. Let's go do that. Yeah, so after shock after shock for support, which makes sense. This is mid. So 
grasp into this, into this, into this. I wonder how this is going to go, because I'm actually very curious. It would make complete sense if, you know, I I, I guess you need sustained damage as Nautilus, because you can't really go burst. You're too slow for that, right? Your abilities take too long to wind up. So the only... I guess off method damage where you could play this champion is a sustained overtime damage. So with items like Rift Maker, Leandri's, fucking Abyssal Mask, I guess. Let's try this build out. Oh, let's definitely try this build out. That's a fucking Vexnid. That's not gonna be great. Not gonna be fun for me at all. Um. <laughs> well, damn. So let's see. Let's see if this is gonna go better or if it's not gonna go better. I don't know. That's what we're here to find out. Do I care if I'm demoting? No, not at all. I don't give two fucks. You know, if I end up demoting as far as like down to silver, I can always get back by just playing better, right? Like, I don't. I've I've gone past the point of caring about rank in this game. In a way, like. That I get mad if I don't reach my rank, or if I lose a game, or if I lose some LP. I don't care. Because I'm playing the long game, right? That's Vex. Vex is gonna poke me. So, let me just play accordingly. He's gonna poke, we go D shield. And I'm going for the late, right? We're gonna go scale. Also, not gonna hard push because it's a vex. You know, if if we were actually, it's called Rod of Ages. If we actually were, you know, going to play aggressive into this and push, we're probably gonna lose because realistically, it's not good. This item gains twenty health, three mana, four. Taking damage from champions restore. Oh, that's why. That's the entire reason why Gragas is so annoying. I guess that makes sense now. But I do kind of feel stupid for not realizing that beforehand. I thought his champion was just broken. But uh, no, that item is definitely very broken. Let's just chill here. What will I do once I reach my goal for this game? I will quit the game. I am done with League. I am simply playing this to prove a point. Oh, come on. Just gonna keep poking me, but I don't I don't really care about it. I gotta be completely honest with you. I really do not give a cock. Neither do I give a ball. You can poke me all you want. Or, you know, maybe I won't quit League as a whole, but at least I'll quit Ranked. I simply just don't care, right? I've been playing this game for a really long time. And it's, it's about high time Riot starts to respect 
as veteran players because they really don't. They really have no respect for how the game is going. The only thing they care about is if it makes them money. Which I guess makes sense from a business perspective. They also have to think about, you're still a gaming company, right? You've made a game people love. You've invested, invested time, invested is not a word. You've invested time and effort into making this beautiful project that is League with its wide story and everything, right? But you've also done an excellent job in pissing it the, into the floor with the recent patches and stuff. When their MMO comes out, I'm probably gonna play that a bunch. usage of my shield. I'm fine with the Kha'Zix, by the way. I don't care. Good dodge that. See? All she knows is just poking me. And it's fine. Like, I'm gonna lose early. I've accepted that. I'm gonna get poked out. No. Running Ignite. gonna back off here. I've got D-Shield. If Kha'Zix ganks me, he's dead, by the way. There we go, we're gonna grab this item, I think. Let's go. Let's go back. Our Jax is doing well. I can actually start playing around him. It's good. I'm sure it's what I have to do is I have to find a way to make this strategy as consistent as possible. Like, I'm still really inconsistent with rolling. It makes sense, you know, it has been a while since I've played this champion, it's been a while since I've been playing ELO in general. Because last year was the first year I actually started taking the game seriously again, and I hit Platinum pretty quickly, in like, I think, three weeks. Maybe? Some pretty okay damage. Obviously she did damage back, but I've got a D-Shield, I'll be healing that back up, and she needs to use potions. Or biscuits, I guess. Alright. I was hoping I didn't need to use my ultimate there, but you know what, it's whatever. So far, this strategy, the AP versus, you know, the tank, it's the same. You still go grass. You still take grass. Like, your rune doesn't change. Only your build does. You can solo that, mate. Don't come at me. Hmm. You can solo that old laddie. No, I'm gonna max my Q. After maxing my Because it makes more sense to me. Nice. Our bot lane seems to go okay. Not too sure. Infex is roaming. I can 
Awards. Oh, I can't. Uh, I can't see Peace Awards yet. That's really cringe. I don't. I don't get what is so difficult about you know staying alive in bot lane. In every one of my games, it's always the bot lane feeding. I don't know how. Or better question, I don't know why. Kill my Momo because he's dog shot. That's sad. No sums vex. Actually, pretty okay. <clears throat> Just going to clear this. Get hooked here. Take some damage. I'm not gonna overstay my welcome. Well, I noticed she's slightly out of mana. Not yet though. She probably has enough mana for like a Q, maybe. And while we don't one shot, you know, we know that. I, I like understand that. We're not that type of champion. We do a lot of damage over time. And our ultimate is a teamfight winning ability. That's the whole point here. Too fast, man. Wait a second. You're gonna do it again? Try me. That's actually pretty good here. If they kill the smolder, it would be epic. Of course they don't. They die by a vex. Yep. Always the body. Games in a row right now. <clears throat> ah, lovely. Vexus 5 1. Yup, but it is winnable. That's the lovely part. Because now we're AP, we actually do damage. I've got my item. So we actually hurt now. And we're gonna hurt even more once we have our uh, Landry's. I almost said LDR for some reason. Yeah, her shield is uh, pretty strong too. That's okay. I'm a champion. Them 200 year champions. Yeah, okay. That's cool. <laughs> uh, uh. Don't fucking die again by some stupid shit, please. What? 
Nah, bro. <laughs> Let's go. Well played. Good shit. That is massive. Well fucking done. Alright. So far, definitely like this more. The certain agency I feel I have instead of, you know, the tank. It's actually very nice. I reckon I'm gonna keep doing this, or at least get some more practice cracking on this whenever I play the. Because uh, this is definitely. Th th this feels feasible. Obviously, I'm not even at max stack yet, but this already feels way better. And I'm still running the same runes nearly. Just a simple change in build. I'm still surprisingly tanky. You know, I've got 2k health, still. That should not have hit. I'm gonna call bullshit right now. I'm just gonna call in bullshit for my end, because that should not have hit. I know I'm the one playing Nautilus. But that should not have hit the Vex. You don't kill me. I don't like that you're baiting me. You're obviously baiting me for a Kha'Zix. I'm not gonna fall for it. I ain't gonna fall for that shit, bro. Hell no. Fuck off with that baby bait. Give me this. Worth it TPing there? I don't think so. I'm not gonna TP them now. So Abyssal Mask, what do you give me nowadays? Oh, that's actually a really fucking good item. Wait, hey. <laughs> uh, okay, yeah. I can see that. Reduced magic resist. Wait, does the, re the reduction scale with my... Oh my god, it does. Wait, that's actually so strong. Hang on a second. The person who made this build might have been cooking. I'm gonna lie. Where are we fucking go? Now we just go Drake. We just take Drake here. Their jungler is basically out of commission because he was far too low. If he steals this here, I'm gonna. Do some spooky shit. I was about to say, don't do that. Don't fucking somehow steal that. You beanie motherfucker. Okay, so Vex is still done. Kha'Zix might be here. I'm gonna bank on the fact that he's looking at my ADC instead of me. Yep. He happened to be doing exactly that. Easy. There we go. Grab some pink wards. Work towards my land raise. I'm actually not CSing too bad. That's kind of funny to me. And people are still gonna call this, you know, a troll pick. Maybe somewhere down the line, people are gonna ask me why am I doing this to myself? One, I love playing this champion. Two, I already did this before. I already got the really high elo playing exactly this. The only dri difference, really, is that there were different items back then. The strategy still remains the same. There was another item called Blood of Ages back then, and I believe it will always work very similarly to what it does now. So in fact, the strategy is still the same. 
the only thing that changed this item. And that doesn't really matter down the line. I'm just gonna get my Landry's here. I don't have flash, so I needed to back off there. I didn't want to end up dying. Because I have to remind myself, right? I don't have any resistance. I've got 104 armor, but I'm not tanky by any means. I'm just tanky when I have my shield up. And that's not often. That's every 12 seconds. So it does make sense that I'm a little careful about my positioning. Also, instead of Abyssal Mask, what I could do if I was against an AD champion, what I could have done was go Sunfire, or even a Frozen Heart. So this is actually not a bad build. I like that. That's really nice. I'm gonna look at the end of this game how much damage this has done. And then I'm just gonna keep going. Because I like this. Vex is supposedly a hard matchup for Nautilus mid because of her poke. And the fact that once I hook her, she has a fear, right? So she's just gonna fear me. And then I'm gonna miss my hook. It's really annoying. Just clear this so real quick. Oh, I love that fucking wave clear too, man. It's so neat. It's just so nice. You're gonna come through here for anybody? For that matter? No? We're just gonna sit here jerking each other off. Oh, there it is. Oh, you can go over walls. I didn't know that. That's pretty... That's pretty nutsy, man. I didn't think you could do that. That's funny. Let me just push this in. I reckon they're fine with the karma that there. Might have made a mistake here. Vex is just getting towers down bot lane. Killed the karma, we killed the Vex. Karma's back up. Probably won't be able to take this turret. Maybe. Maybe I am, maybe I'm not. I actually am. She's gonna try and root me here. I'm just gonna take the turret and peace out. Actually, I could clear the second wave too. Let's do that. Clear the second wave. There we go. here because it's this way Azix might just be here chilling Mind, they left. They fucking surrendered. They proceed out. I really did enjoy that. That was a that was a really fun way of playing that. I actually felt a lot stronger than I usually do. Like I did a lot more damage. And that was surprisingly more survivable as well. I quite like that. How much damage did I do? 11k. That's actually not bad. I did most damage on my team. That's kind of depressing with the Zerath and the Nash, but. It is. Nah, he sucks. But I am. Hmm. <clears throat> 
that out. Then, I guess we're gonna keep doing that same build. I really liked how that felt. It actually felt like I did damage, if that makes any sense. Like, I was tanky, but also damage. I was able to face against what normally would be a hard matchup. Because I wouldn't do any damage. I could outlast their damage just fine, but I couldn't do anything solo. And, you know, our bot lane was pretty trash, pretty fucking trash there. So, it felt really nice to actually be able to do damage and kill people myself. I didn't need to be reliant on hooking and peeling and providing for my team. Because, you know, if they can't play the game, then I'm just auto losing. So, this is great. This is definitely going to be the strategy I'm going to use. Also, this is just really funny to me. Katarina used to be my most played champion, now it's Nautilus. Very easily. See this? I'm going back to my roots, man. I'm going back to not mid. It's super fun to play. And I will, I, like, I understand I'm gonna lose games where I could win if I was playing on a different champion. But I'm just gonna say to that, well, fuck you, man. I wanna have fun while climbing. And that's basically what I wanna do. I don't care how long it's gonna take. And you'll very quickly see that's a theme with me. Including my YouTube. Like, I don't really care how long this is gonna take. I'm not in here for just growing fast. You know, I would love to grow fast. Or at least faster. But if that means that I'll, if it means if I grow fast, if that means that I won't have... Let, let, let's give a number, right? Let's say I've got 10k followers, 10k subscribers, 10k whatever the fuck you name it, right? And from that 10k, only, I don't know, 5,000 people are really loyal. I would much rather, when I'm starting out, to just grow slowly, but everybody who follows me ends off becoming a loyal follower or subscriber or whatever name you want to give it, right? That, that's what I want. Because that actually sounds like very feasible and possible. Is it really fun? Right. That way I can enjoy myself. I don't feel like I'm niching down, which I absolutely despise because I've got so many things I'm into. So many things that make me, me. And I don't want to niche down just for the purpose of growing faster on social media, right? I, I like making smoothies. I like spirituality. I like gaming. I like mindfulness and mental health. Like. There's a bunch of different self-improvement, self-development. I like those things too. Like, when people see me, and they, you know, I tell them that I play EG, obviously all kinds of people are going to have assumptions, which is normal, right? It's, it's human to make an assumption based on the information that you hear. But, where that gets disturbed is where, when you start to only see this person as that assumption that you have of them. And 9 out of 10 times that assumption is false. 9 out of 10 times they would be, you know, they, they do play League of Legends, but they don't have to be toxic. Or they don't have to only like League of Legends. Like, I, I honestly believe a lot of League of Legends creators actually are in it for money now. Because the game stereotypically and this is a very like controversial topic here so i really you know i want a disclaimer that but i think a lot of league of legends content creators nowadays and especially the ogs that are still doing it are just in it for the money 
form, it's because they have found comfort, you know, they're comfortable at where they are, they don't really care about growing further and improving themselves, they're comfortable. You know, honestly, good for them, but not me. I, I'm not gonna niche down just to find myself in another space where I can burn out. Because me, as somebody with ADHD, I have a lot of different talents, a lot of different things and interests that interest me. And they veer away. Like, one day or one month I can be really into this one thing, and then the second month comes around and I'm suddenly not interested in it anymore. But that doesn't necessarily always mean that I know I'm completely not into that thing. It could just mean I'm taking a break, right? Like, I just need a distraction. I just need something else, something new. Nine out of ten times, that's kind of how it goes. And not a lot of people understand that. I honestly don't think that you need to niche down to grow on YouTube. Because obviously, you know, there's people like Dan Carl that have reached massive growth just being themselves. Solving a problem that they themselves have faced, showing how to solve that problem, and, you know, have success doing it. You're gonna flash. You're gonna see me, you're gonna walk away. Yep. I don't care about poking me. Like, you can poke me. I've got a D-shield. But that, basically, that, that, that's like the massive thing that I, also in a, in a way it's a little bit of a fear of mine. Like I don't want to be stuck here creating content that I don't enjoy myself. Hence why I'm also, you know, open to, let's say, once I really don't like League of Legends anymore. I'm gonna quit making content on League of Legends. It's also why I've been really careful with branding my YouTube channel, as to not go too heavy into, you know, the idea that I'm a League content creator. No, I'm not a League content creator, I'm a gaming content creator. And I'm not gonna veer myself into this little box that is League of Legends. And while it's not a little box by any means, it's a pretty big box. Um, I don't want to niche down and later on regret because I could have done this, I could have done a lot more and I don't want to have that regret later down the road. Probably makes sense somewhere. I don't know. Maybe it does, maybe it doesn't for you guys. Maybe it speaks to an older audience, I don't know. But yeah, I don't want to live with that regret. I've got a lot of ambitions, a lot of things. I also have health concerns that, you know, I will have regardless of if I want them or not. I was born with scoliosis, that should have hit. Um, so it's like, it's fucked, you know? It's just screwed up. I'm leaning against the Nikali. Well, do I have an opinion about Akali? Yes, I do. I think it's the champ that should be removed. And I know it's Artic. Zapte champions that other people think that should be removed. I think Katarina. No? Karina isn't exactly also very loved by the community. No, oh, no, she's loved and hated, actually. But, yeah. I don't want to niche myself down. That doesn't sound like me.
Ain't no way you're about to get mad at me for that, right? You were the one to go in. I wasn't expecting a gank. Y y you love that damage, though, no? Isn't that just beautiful? Ain't that just fucking marvelous? That damage, right? Might not have allowed me my fucking grasp auto, but you're you're gonna need to refill here. And so do I. That's besides the point. I'm not gonna grab my item here. You're gonna stay. It's cool with me. Let's have a look back. <clears throat> We are playing to kill the Akali. If I kill Akali, that's awesome, you know. Great. It's not my plan. I'm gonna outskill her. I'm gonna go Rod of the Aegis. I'm gonna go chill. I'm gonna play around games. Play around having a level advantage. You know, the fundamentals of League. While shoving, I'm also constantly looking at the map. Where can I roam to? You know, is there something to roam to, or should I just get vision? You got boots. They're faster than me now. A little bit of M pen. Really not that big of a deal. And that's how you out trade. Now if she for some reason was still able to hit her E on me, or I actually went off. I would still have gotten my shield up in time and I would shield her damage. She needs to use a lot of potions here, and I really don't. Almost missed that minion. There you go. I'm just doing a lot of damage to her now. And there's literally nothing that she can do to this. Well, you might argue that she can actually do a lot to me. She really can't. And you're noticing yourself, right? I can just freeze her. I'm just gonna freeze on her. Well, that was very easy to read. You moved up there directly. Didn't even try to hide it. But we get Drake here. So, I'm fine with that trade. I'm gonna shove this in. Get my other important item. We just grab this, grab some boots. Nice, strong reset. I don't really need to get a pink ward. Not yet, at least. Come on, Gwen, you don't win that. Never mind, you do. Wait, do you do you win that one be too? You that broken? That's awesome. She's gonna blame me, and when she does, I'm gonna mute. Or maybe she doesn't. Maybe it's a grandma, you know? Maybe it's somebody who types really fucking slow. I don't know. If she gets uh, hit with one more combo, I can go ahead and care. I 
think she's low enough. And I don't need to rush on killing her neither. Ah. Hot lane again. You should be too low to gank. Got a bunch of trolls again. You know the irony when people see this pick and they call it a troll and then they see my teams. Like what the fuck is going on here man? What is it? Tell me, honestly. What is going on? They're just pushing. Oh, I still actually got my cannon. It's massive. Um, yeah, okay, you're pretty stupid. Holy, you're bad. I'm sorry, I have to say that. Realistically, we should not have killed her there. But she just overstayed and was dumb. And that's what happens when you overstay and you're stupid. You die. Or you lose a wave. Or you, you know, X loss here. It's not good. This is exactly the reason why they say that overconfidence kills, by the way. Because it does. I'm two levels ahead of them. I should be okay. But we're gonna go for a Ninja Tavis. some help here. No. Preferably stop, you know, feeding the Ezreal, because the Ezreal is a 1v9 machine if you let him. Gwen is actually going to do a lot this game, I can tell. Oh, come on, man. I'm gonna have that to not miss that. Ah, okay, well. I'm dead. That's kind of cringe that that still hit me. Whatever. I have no clue if this music is copyright free, by the way. I, I, I think it is. It should be, it's on NCS. music in my uh, description, right, when I post this as a VOD. Ah, come on. Oh my Jesus, that fucking... That Blitzcrank is dangerous, man. Oh, 
Oh, Blitzcrank is dangerous, dude. No. I'm gonna need some help here. Sure, because he can hook me. Yep, that definitely did hit me. You're right. Guys, hello. I've been pinging for like years. Bye, bitch. Fucking idiot. Hmm. Uh, what do I do? I go this again. Quite like that. Can we not feed the Akali, please? Can we not feed the Akali? That's your problem, bro. Problem. Hey guys. A little bit of a cringe champion here. Please do not die to a Yasuo. Come on, bye. Don't do this. Oh yeah, that's cool. In the most balanced ability yet. Win more. That should have hit. Hmm. No way. Kane's gonna do his bullshit thing. He's gonna go through a wall. Funny champion, but okay, uh, Oh, he fucked up. is so annoying. Go. And they also won't kill that screen. Or you're trolling. That's great. They probably already have it. Dude, we need Drake.
Go Drake. You're done. Finch Lord. Jesus, bro. Then so cringy. Well, to be fair, almost all Yasuo players are to an extent. Ah. Uh. <laughs> Just win this, man. Like, it's not hard. I think it's really not a hard game. Or not as hard as you are making it out to be. I want this item. I'm gonna have enough for it. TP here. We're sleeping. All right. <sighs> what I need here? It's actually AD that does more damage to me. The frozen heart. Actually, a pretty good fucking gank by the Twisted Fate as real dies here. It's good. Yasuo is being Yasuo. I just split pushing. Yasuo's gonna die. Yeah, win one me, bitch. Now we have Yasuo dead. Let's go grab Baron here and fast. But here. Oh. Go here. No. Her blitz is done. Burn. I have my ultimate. If Ezreal tries to do something, I can ult. No way you finish, right? Ezreal or not Fish meds. You 
clearly don't know who I am. That's okay. Why the fuck we're waiting? Like, we need to force this. My fucking god, man, the sweats. My goodness, man. Frozen heart here, and I need to become tanky real fast. Now I go Rift Maker after this. To protect ourselves against hooks now, because this Blitzcrank is choosing to play like such a little baby. So Fuck yourself. Pick off this got them Ezreal. We're gonna do it again. Dude, these players literally I don't think they have a penis. They're playing that pussy like. I doubt they have a penis. This one, so cringe. help against this Yasuo. Well, 
I also personally think that, you know, League of Legends is actively becoming more and more shit. In order to play the game and win, you actually have to play bullshit OP stuff. You can't play fun stuff and game with anyone. I don't know what's super sad about this. This is actually hella winnable just because of how broken Twisted Fate is, but we really need to have a go there. Can I not be the only one warding, please? Fucking Ezreal, how about that? We've got a bunch of champions that are really good at picking people. We should really be picking people. Here we go. Good. Let's keep pushing. Not that hard. Yep. You're hoping that your bullshit hitbox is more bullshit than mine, eh? Damn, that Yasuo's got some reactions. And Vi is trolling. I am tanky, yes, but not that tanky. <clears throat> Jesus, man. What a game. Genuinely, though, what a game. Holy fuck. Just because, why not? Right? Why the fuck not? Let's do one more. Like, I mean, you see it here, I'm doing damage. Surprisingly tanky too. It's like the best of both worlds. I need to get rid of my shirt because it's a little bit on the warm end here. Numan Ward. Conine. Guitar. Moon. Gafas de Sol. Couleur. Oké, okay, laten we het resultaat bekijken. Wow, vet. Oh, nice. Wow, ik vind het geniaal. Wij transmeren woorden in kunstwerk met onze unieke AI-generator. 
off of just my voice. Dude, do you hear about those uh, tech layoffs? Let me know. I'm I know. Blast. Back in my it's day, fun. Layup was a That's gospel. in the end all that matters. Yeah, I think you're I, thinking of a you layoff. enjoy yourself. Oh, well, I mean, it's scary either way. You don't think we're going to get laid off, do you? No way. They need us. Remember we did the, um, the thing with the email? Okay, but how are we going to save our jobs? We need something that's going to change. As long as you enjoy yourself, you're you know what I mean? naturally motivated time, to get better. Money, and as things. And Pendy. ultimately, no, it's a graphic design service. <laughs> Instead of paying per project, that's really just what I'm doing this for. That's my reason. Many designs as you need. I just wow. want to have fun and. and yeah, I mean, from the looks of it, they're the top rated design service. And I want to show that fun with others. That's all I want to do. No hidden agenda, no nothing. Got a cop still here. Imagine if I get a Nautilus skin out of one of these. Just imagine how great that would be. It's just cosmic paladin Nautilus out of nowhere. That would be really fucking great, man. Super great. That's probably not gonna happen though. Let's be honest, right? It's probably not gonna happen. Uh, let me just keep banning Gragas. Fuck Gragas, man. No, if you play Gragas, I don't like you. really like this skin. I want to get it, but I also have spent too much money this month already. So I'm kind of on a fence. Yeah, they, they buffed his passive damage. I thought so. It definitely felt like my passive was doing a lot more damage. Which is very good to know. But they did in fact buff him. And I did not... Um... Imagine... That they buffed him. They buffed his E with 20% scaling. That's crazy. That's a lot. Oh, you're playing Katarina to my Nautilus? Might be a good Katarina. Emphasis on might.
Hela is not gonna enjoy her time against me. I'm going uh, more AP than usual of this game, because we already have... I mean, we have... Um, we don't need two tanks. Nautilus would go in this game. I could do it. We have Tom in terms of thing, so I could just go full AP here. I don't need to stick to a show myself. shield starter as well that's interesting i guess she don't know the matchup or maybe she thought I, w I would be against or she would be against a brand that would make sense i mean the only thing i'm gonna do is just be really boring for her to play against She does. Oh, decent. She got all the CS there. We have a Maokai jungle. Okay, so early ganks are definitely a foot. about as good as I expected. But the problem here with the cat is that she's gonna get fucked. Like as long as I don't die early to her, this is her game. And that's the end of it. There, this is her lane. to get that straight up, but I guess that's fine. Interesting that I got the first kill of the team. That's kind of not good, really. I mean, yeah, I'm gonna do damage, but my damage will be very inconsistent.
Ow. Holy fuck, this cat is not. I am genuinely wondering. So I'm gonna have to match her roams. She's guaranteed going to be roaming. It's a little unfortunate. <clears throat> kind of sad that my Tom Kench happened to be AFK there. Because that would be super free. do it. Try me. Okay. Or don't. Or be boring. You know, you could do that too. You could be boring. This is probably a Katarina player who doesn't know how to how to actually lane, she only knows how to roam. Which happens to be a theme in Loila. I don't blame her. The stun can just heavily trolling. Oh, I guess I get my rod of ages for that. I don't know why the Hale thought it would be smart to go back. Maybe she didn't expect me to stay.
I'm on the way. You probably want to go right in there. In here. Oh wow. That's worded, is it? That's kind of cringe, but whatever. Good lord, this Katarina is dog shit. That's depressing, man. You know, I get she's not a super easy champion. But also not extremely hard. Didn't actually mean to take to like hit her with that hook. I meant to hit the tower, not her, funnily enough. I'm gonna get my boots here. Because we're gonna go for more damage this game. Because my Tom is beating this Kale into the fucking ground. So I'm just gonna build towards doing more damage. I guess. That kind of cringe, man. Get more comfortable playing on low health. Learn to dodge. Death in there. I, I can't handle this uh, crisis brain lag. You're actually serious about... You're still building Nashor's Tooth? <clears throat> no wonder you're so bad. That is a dead item on Katarina. Hmm. 
they are almost guaranteed going to come my way. Holy shit. See? That's how you fucking do things. That's not how you play like a fucking pussy. That's how you play like an active player. Not like a goddamn spectator. Make action, guys. Stop waiting for your opponents to make mistakes. Fucking make them make mistakes. Or, you know, be a mistake, I guess. Senna is here, I don't have ults. That should have hit. It's some bullshit. Can we, you know, do something? Really not that hard to do stuff, guys. Okay. That's well played. I am not there, by the way. If you guys die, it's your fault. My god, man. This elo is something else. I don't even know what to say. I don't know why this Kaisa is waiting fucking 40,000 business years before they go in. But like, go in, bro. What are you waiting for? Oh, Drake.
can take Drake here. We do this. No, you fucking don't. Here you go. You take the ward. Good. I'm just gonna stay with my team here. I don't trust them to be alone. They're gonna feed. One kill. You are bad, Karina. Jesus Christ. That is one bad Karina. Sinos are... We need vision around the right. Oh, there. Here. I can't clear this fast enough, can I? I don't think so. I can. Hmm. <laughs> I feel like that was warded. I wanted to pick that up, but I fucking walked back too soon. I mean, we, we can dive. I don't know why we're waiting. Like, what the fuck, guys? Just go. We literally have a Tom Kench and a Nautilus, and you're afraid to tower dive? How does that make any sense, bro? Oh, she's doing the burn build, I see. And she got a small shutdown. Probably dies here if my team is competent. <clears throat> This is still gonna be good, and I'm gonna go this. Nah, bro. Ain't no way we're gonna lose this, right? Ain't fucking nowhere. Oh 
I'm on the way. Let's just go. Kill them. Let's go. I know you guys take Drake. Let's go. Take Drake in here. And drop a ward down there. I'm just gonna keep warding this. Oh, wait. You actually missed your ultimate, are you kidding me? Damn, that's very well balanced. Be worried about the Katarina. I still feel like Katarina probably could have done a lot more if she just killed properly. If she had another boon, then it'd actually do. Think of Dark Harvest, Conqueror, who works the best with Nesher's Tooth. That would be a good time, you know. We are stronger than them, we can pick them off. Hey, fucking hell, man. I, I hate this fucking sitting around doing nothing. Do something. We're playing a game, right? We're not watching a movie. I am dead anyway, so I'm not gonna flash. We could use a fish on bot now.
need to get through. this real quick we can grab this tower in that time we probably can yeah So we not only did we kill all of them, we also took two turrets. That one and that one. Now their bottom hip is open and their top and hip is almost open. What the f that should have okay. I'm pretty sure that hook should have connected. Mm -hmm. 